Hey, Holden. Hey, Trey. I need to unmod you. Don't take it personal. <laughs> Hey, Corey. <laughs> I don't get upset about stupid stuff like that. I've given you a hard time. I didn't even want to be on. Hey, Sherry Bird. How are you? I'm going to change your name all over the place. Hey, Jonathan. I have no right going on. I have other stuff I need to be doing. But I have all this. All this. I got today. I'm living the dream. Right? I like this one. And it has the Pledge of Allegiance on there. I can't melt that one. Yeah. Because that one's a nice... Purdue. Purdue. What does that mean, Purdue? That's an older one. I'm going to keep that one. I like that one. 480 greens. But it's... I like that one. So, I'm going to put in flips the one I'm going to keep. weeks without YouTube but only been sick past three days and need my coin therapy. I, I haven't been on in three days so you haven't missed me. But I did find these ones. Hey Shay. So I think I'm going to tone them. I'm going to do a video on it. Tony Morgan's. Hey Shaw. Am I welcome? Of course you are. Hey, Michael. Hey, last thing. How was Disneyland? I went to Adventure, the California Adventure. It was okay. But it looks just like a Morgan. But it's around. So, I got a few of these. I think I got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So I got ten. So I got ten of the Morgan rounds. How are you? Looks like very nice stash. Did you see the video that Cal Speech done with the Tony Copper? Very cool. Yes. He's doing a fine job over there. So I got ten. 10 of the Morgan rounds, and they look just like Morgan, except for obviously they don't have the date. And the back has the eagle, and it's not a topsy turvy, it's the same side turn. And it has the one toy ounce on there. So I think I'm gonna. Hey Linda! So I think I'm gonna do a video on toning those. And if people wanna buy them, they can buy them, but otherwise I'll, I'll melt them. Smelt them, melt them, smelt them. Smelly, smelly, smell them. Oh, I don't take stuff like that too hard. So, you'll learn that real quick about me. Great show yesterday for seminar day. I didn't, I was, I didn't get a chance to watch hardly any of the seminar. It's 1985. I thought that was a pretty cool one. Got the nice mirror on there. Hey, M.A. Lemon. Mike. So that one's a pretty cool one. It was just it was just there, so I got it. Luck of the Irish. But these ones I really like. So I'm not gonna melt none of these. I bought I bought all that he had of this one. What's up, Mike? Mike, 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 Mike. Let's see how many I got of those. I got one, two, three, was it two, three? Four, 
five. Yeah, so I got I got five of those. Hey Ed. I have Irish, but you ain't getting me lucky charms. <laughs> but I thought that was really neat looking. Tell her get well soon. Who's sick? How many rounds did I get? I got 38. I think it was 38. I didn't see anybody saying they were sick. So prospecting pager. Hey, Mr. Doughboy. So I got eight of those. These ones, I want to tone, tone it, tone them and see what they're going to look like. So that's going to go into the tone pile. Um, where's the one I'm keeping? This is the one I'm keeping. This one's really cool. It doesn't have a date on it, but I know it's an older round. So we're going to stick that in a flip. Because this is, this is what, let's see. I don't know. So let's pull out a couple flips. So this one I'm keeping for me. Uh, what was the other one? I kind of like the World Trade Center ones. The World Trade Units. Do you have some one tenth rounds I could buy from you, SJ? I melted them all. He didn't have any this time. <coughs> I'll have to look and see what I have, Mike. But I like this one. It's got... What's up, Treasure Trolls? I don't know, what do you think? Empire Trade Unit? Keep, melt, sell, or what? What do you think? Keep it? 1974. It's an older one. I think we need to keep it. But I like it because it's... You know what I'm saying? Keep it? Hey, Scully. Yeah, see, I like that one too. I agree. He didn't have any shots. He's got to order some for me. So, like this one, I got it. I had it cut in it, but I figured no one's going to buy it, so I might as well buy it. I got everything for the same price. Give me your tired and your poor. What's up, Scully? How you feeling? Melt it. Yep, this goes in the melt pile. And then I just got some generics, kind of generic -y ones. Um, how many ounces will your biggest mold hold? Right now, five ounces. Yeah, these aren't great. These these are just chunky. So these so I got one, two I got oh I got two, three three of those. And then here's that obviously it's gonna get melted. That's a generic round. So that those are getting melted. Okay, then I have these and these are dated. These are 1986. What's up, Chef? No, five ounce silver sweet. Yeah, those the skulls that I have are five ounces. What do you melt them into? I have a, a bunch of different molds. If you watch my video, if you watch my video of um, my pouring videos, you can see all my molds. Smelt it all, smelt it all, right, Bubba? So if there's melt the 86's I mean I can get these ones all day long so unless there's somebody that that 1986 there's one two three of those this one is 1981 so this is from so this one's one of those borderline ones you keep it you or you or you do you burn it what are you paying for generic silver rounds? I pay $17 for these. I pay $17 no matter what. Well, not always. I can't say that, not always. But because I buy from him all the time, I'm like, will you give them to me for the all generic prices? And he said, yeah. Hey, Marky Mouse, for free silvers? Not, definitely not free. Well, beautiful, gotta move around. All right, Sherry. 
coin flip. Keep it. Have you made an SJ coin yet? Nope. Nope. I'm still waiting on my stamp. It didn't come today. So keep that one. Is that what you're saying, Scully? Scully is like me. He's very particular about what he melts. They have a good evening, too. So I know I have not made an SJ coin yet. Um, I have a friend of mine that has a CNC machine and I'm going to have him make me up something because he can do, he can, he can do it in the, um, with graphite. If I send him a graphite cube, he can use a CNC machine and do it. Hey Z squared. Sorry. I didn't see you pop in. I just scrolled up and seen ya. I want to try turning one of them into a bell someday. You would keep it. Okay. That's, it. That's like one of those borderline ones that I'm not quite sure, but it looks it looks older, so I agree. And then I just got some Prospector rounds, so those are good to get. These are 1984. The Inglehards. Running insane. Hi, see everyone later. Alright, Marky Mouse. Remember to enter my giveaway. Went to our only coin shop. They want twenty dollars for theirs. Well, that's normally what I sell them for is twenty, and I make a couple like a buck fifty off each one. Keep it, keep it, keep it. I got two of those, the Ingleherds, I believe. Oh, did I not grab the other one? I did not grab. I did not grab. Maybe there was only one. I think the other prospector is just the regular prospector. Keep both. And this is just a regular prospector. I thought I had gotten another one. But I'm wrong. get generic for a buck over spot I guess for like a buck fifty over spot but not generic I mean like any of these how much did I miss not that much hey yes AP and he has these all the time I love looking at silver head <laughs> thanks Mike <laughs> melt that one melt pile the right to privacy Yay, Mike. Johnson, Matthew, J.M. Bullion. Keep. I love the thing to silver clink together, right? It's hard melting JM, it's true. <laughs> Can't say sweet, it stops the eye. Thanks, Will. I don't even know who that is. Who is that? <laughs> I should have stayed in school, that's who it is. Melt it. Hey Robert, I love goofing around. Hey Ken, <laughs> yay super chat Monday. Great nation stands united. Oh, and then it just so happens that if you look over, I see if you can, if I can show a reflection. Trump just popped up over there. Land of the free, home of the brave. Melt it. And there's just these. Keep it, melt it. You think I should keep that one, Mike? You're a cool goof. Let the freedom ring. Are you ready to make 
a miner's button. What's that? That one's getting melted. Hey, Barbara. So you think I should keep that one? That's going to go in the iffy. Now, there's some that, like, I want to tone them and see what they look like toned. Ken's a great goof. This is another older one, 1985. My daughter's birth year. Hey, Draco. Hey, Jason. This one's kind of beat up. Melt it. You can practice toning on all the melt. Yes. Well, that's what I don't think you came in. I got these ones. I got Morgan rounds. The the silver rounds. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video toning Morgans. I got ten of these. I got ten of those. I got five of these. I'm going to try toning one and see what it looks like. Practice my toning. Hey, Philip. Hey, how are you doing today? Hope all is well. All of you in the chat. You had children when you were 18. I had children when I was when I got pregnant when I was 16. I was 17 when I had her. But melt it. You crazy. I'm not melting on this. I got too many people that would buy that. Yeah. Keep your pecker in your pants. <laughs> 1980. It's all scratched up. That one's getting melted. <laughs> Am I right? Did I say that out of, out of turn? That one's scratched up. That one's getting melted. <laughs> American Way. 1985 was a good year. Yeah, that's when my daughter was born. Hey, Daddy. I mean, that's a cool round. What's up, Daddy? I got two of them. Johnson and Matthew. He didn't really... I didn't ask him if he had generic. I just... When I when I got there, I was going to go live when I was there, but um, the electricity was out. Yeah, keep it the electricity was out so when I got there I walk up and it says it says no electricity by appointment only and I'm like no and I seen that his truck was there so I actually got two of those um, I seen that his truck was there and then some of the regulars were already inside so they opened the door for me and let me go in I'm going to melt some of them not all of them I mean, you can buy, if you want to buy them instead of me melting them, that's kind of why the, the title says what it says, that I'll sell them to you. I can go to the coin shop and get these all day long. So I'll keep both of those. Oh, are, those, are they different? That's not it. I pulled out the wrong one. I wanted to put both of these in the same one. Smelting coins is bad news. This, these aren't coins. These are rounds. These are silver rounds. I sure is pretty. And um, Bicentennial Liberty Centennial Celebration. This one's crappy. This one's getting melted. It's all scratched up. I don't know about this one yet. Mike saying keep it. Hey, Silver Smokestacks. Mike saying keep it. Scully saying melt it. Kind of scratched up. If any of these you guys want to buy, I will sell them to you for $20 and you pay for shipping if you want to save their lives. Other than the ones that I have to the side there. That's in the F pile. Good luck. <laughs> and it's just got a blank back. That's it. 
We had a nice round. Ew. Is that Dr. Phil? I think so. Guy, can you hear that? I can't even hear that. My, so my mom likes Dr. Phil. Leave her alone. Don't make fun of my mom. I'll ban you. I'll take your wrench away. I am talking about the Morgans. And, oh, they, these aren't real Morgans. These are silver round Morgans. See, it says one, one Tory ounce. They look like Morgans, though, huh? See how it says 99 fine silver? Use the blink back one to practice stamping silver. Why is it bad news? It will. You don't want to melt coins, anyways. Hey, K. What? Doctor Pill. So I'm gonna tone these. I'm gonna do a video doing it. So, how many does that leave me to melt? So these are questionable ones. This might be end up being. Maybe maybe. Hey, Mike, Emmy Lyman, are you here? Some coins have zinc toxic to melt. Yep. Do you think I should do this one for the giveaway? Or should it be a hand pour? I think I should do a hand pour. I don't want to say what that looks like. It's just blank. I got some of those when you pulled them out. I thought, wow, what a nice Morgan. Mm, right. Hey, so hey, hey, Damon. <laughs> Melt it. These coins are pure silver. Yeah, these are nine 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 fine silver. So this one's in really good shape, though. And this is the other questionable one. A heiny. Uh, not quite a heiny. What is on my finger now? Oh, it's the other fairy house, but I can't find it on that hand. You're smelting yours. Your Morgans. No zinc. Yeti, 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 yeti. So that leaves me with how many? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen ounces. So that's only 14 ounces. And then I have 10, 10 in the crucible right now, so that's 24 ounces. I love that good luck one. You like that one, Mr. Doughboy? Yeah, I think I'll put that one aside. It's in too good of shape to, I, mean, I can polish it more. That's a pretty cool one. And I think this one is gonna get melted. I might, again, I'm going to practice toning it tonight. Hey, Popper. I mean, I like it, the flag, but it's all scratched up. So what is that then? One, two, three, four, five, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen ounces. That's not very much out of thirty-eight. I mean, Terry T in the house. Hey, Tennessee. Oh. Yeah. Is that an A? Mark Eagle on the top of the stack. I mean, what is in the melt pile? Okay, I'll show you. We'll go through the melt pile again. Okay, so there's. Did you see Pitbull in 15 ounce Jelly Roger round? No, I haven't seen it yet. I've seen that he posted a video. To put this one in the keep pile, I got a whole bunch of these.
So we're keeping the 85. This one's getting melted. That one's scratched up. That's getting melted. I can get these all day long. These ones were cool when I first seen them, but you can get these all day long at Prospect Around. If you, anybody sees anything they want to buy, you let me know. So here's another one. What was that other one you had me keep? The 85, and this is the 86. I'll keep the 85 and the 86. I think I have another one of these. You've seen these before. Not for, not my pile. I just bought these today. So I'll keep an 85 and an 86. I can't even afford to pay attention. I hear you on that. So this one's in good shape too. Which one's in better shape? So if anybody has somebody in their family that's 86, I'm already keeping one. I got a couple of them. I got three of the 86s. Are you going to buy it much flat? This one's got a big on it. This one's got a big cut in it. Um, just to let everyone know, I have posted my first YouTube video ever. Please take a look and go easy on me. Oh, yay, Popper. Anything older than 1995, keep. Nope. <laughs> I bought these to smelt. I know you can't keep them all. I can't afford to keep them all. But yeah, this one's all cut. That one's getting smoked. These are all the ones that are in the in the melt pile. Well, you're buying the wrong thing to smelt. He didn't have any shots. Hey, oldies. melt all the ASC <laughs> but the ASC's cost me $22 and these only cost me 17 so why would I melt that and not this any new molds yep I do have a new mold as a matter of fact you guys are welcome I have a furnace you guys are welcome to rescue these from the smelter if you like at $20 each Yeah, I'm a psychic. <laughs> Sunshine Mint's okay. He didn't have... It's, the electricity was out, so it wasn't like he can go crawling around. Why do I never get notified even when the bells clicked? I don't know. I'm going to stop giving everyone advice. No, I, I totally understand. But if I can take a $17 round and turn it into $25, wouldn't you do that? So I got three of those and then just a generic buffalo. Like I said, if anybody wants to rescue any of these, go at it. Oh, and I did get this. It's, it's funny he didn't charge me the eight dollars it says on there well he well if, if you were here and you remember that 
when I bought those the casino tokens, I paid for eleven and I only got t I only brought ten home. Um, so I told him about it, and but he wrote. You can see where he writes it on here. He writes it on my receipt. Where is it? Oh, that's not it. So on my receipt, he writes Looney for sixteen ninety five, but I got it for free. But the thing only says eight dollars, so I didn't really get it for free. I was like, whatever. I didn't want to argue. I do a sub swap. We don't we don't talk like that. We don't ask for subs in here. So Coin Group in Minnesota. Where did you buy the four leaf clover? I want one. Well, it's for sale if you want it. Can you show the keep pile again? Ooh, I like the Canadian coin. Yeah, so this is the one. I was going to buy this the last time I was there, and I forgot it. And luckily, it was still there. So this, I'm keeping this one. I don't have a loony yet. 1967 is my birth year. That's a nice Colville dollar. It's okay. I'm just saying that you don't have to ask. People will sub you no matter what if you're in here. Okay, so so we got we got the burn pile. There's the burn pile. That's not very much. That's only a couple pieces. Okay, a keep pile. And Scully, if you let me know which one you like the best. I like I like Canadian dollars. Yeah, he had a whole book of them, but it was dark in there because it was, the electricity was out. So so yeah. So here's the 85s that we just looked at. 85 and 86. I'm going to keep a set of those. 85 and 86. I have that out as if you want to buy that. That is out. Just give them to me. Hey, Clay. The right to privacy. That's a JM bullion. Be right back. I like lots of Canadian coins. You just like silver coins. I don't think there's a date on there. That's 1981. Can't, can't, Canada had some, really, some nice silver coins. Yeah, he, he brought out the books for me to look at, but I'm not real familiar with them. So like as far as like prices and stuff that full set of the Colville is like $70 who doesn't like silver or mail didn't rent today did it um, I forgot about it I don't think it did I went to the post office I didn't have anything in there and then I have two of these do I have two or three of these why am I keeping these again Because Scully said so. 1986. No mail service today. Well, that explains it. I'm not used to not having nothing in my mailbox. If you want to go look at his community stuff, I can go with you via live stream. Yeah, we can do like we can do like a stream one day and look at it. I have 10 Scott still around in the melt pile if interested. Hmm. Which ones? Are you talking about the stackables? The stackable rounds? The lion head stackables? Because then I would be. I had some and I... You like the JM silver? What is that? That one? Okay. How much for that JM SJ? It's, it's going to Scully. For all this help, I have a, a I have a um I think I have an extra JM bullion um and that's the Engelhard. I do metal detecting and a little gold panning here and there. Oh, cool. 
prospector rounds are nice to have. It depends on which prospector round. How about that prospector? 19, stated 1984. Yes, please love that prospector. You want Which one do you want, Scully? The prospector or the jam bullion, or you want both? I'm sorry, I know I feel like I'm stepping on your toes, silver smokestacks. That Scully has helped me out so much with my pouring. That one and that one I want to keep. So here's the Jam Bullion and the Engelhard. Okay. Thank you so much, Silver so Smoke Stacks. I want to go to my room, but it's raining and I don't want to go outside and climb the window. Anyone check out my video? I did, I did, I did. Sell the one Smoke Stacks want and I'll take the Prospectors. He wants the Engelhard. You want the, you want this one. You want the Engelhard. What must what? Did you say something? Go to bed, Trey. Okay, so I was going to send that one to Skull, to Mr. Scully. Did you want to buy that one, Silver Smokestacks? Or you want me to just put it aside? I've got a little toning going on. Oh, I was looking at the other JM. This is the only JM bullion I have. The, the other one's at Engelhard. The older ones. I don't think these are JM bullions. That's that Empire Trade. Those are A-marks. Modern generic rounds you can mount all day long. I thought you said that they were going to skulls. Oh, yeah. What's that? I don't think that, I don't think they're running. I don't know. Is it? Can you go on the website and look? Yeah. Go on the website and look, and if not, then um, I don't mind getting off here and, and taking you. Oh, hey, it's, oh, I just messaged my friend and she didn't work today either. Oh, okay. Yeah, but let me know. Me. Okay. Said so that they were going to skulls. Well, this this pile, I'm I'm melting. This one. I have never owned a silver eagle. 46 more sets of 600. The older ones. Yeah, the older ones, you're talking about these ones? These these aren't JM Bullion. This is A Mark. These ones? The World Trade Center? That's That's Empire. That's Empire. These ones? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry, you're right. Did you want one of these? Is this the one you I'm sorry. Uh, duh. The Freedom ones? I'm sorry. <laughs> Dummy. Searcher, congrats on your channel. It's growing so fast. I found if vintage or older round bars, coins, silver is melted. Twenty on these, and then if you just buy the, do you have something coming already? Did you buy something from that I melted? If you have a package coming already, then there would be no shipping. But I can put this in a regular, like in a greeting card. Clay's got 10 copper rounds, 5 winners. That's right. What time are you going on tonight, Mike? You're going on here shortly, right? Yeah, I have two of them. 
Yeah, I suppose I'm supposed to get a, a heart. Number 26. 71 who subbed me. Mike, 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 Mike. Okay. I mean, because the heart's number 26, that's, that's probably not for another week or so. But if you want to buy this, I can put this in a regular envelope. He wanted an idea for a giveaway. Oh, gotcha. But you go on tonight, right, Mike? Or are you Tuesday? I forget. I could pick you one of the better of the two. They're nice rounds. 199. This one's kind of milky. This one, this one's milky, kind of milky. This one has t some toning. Friday, <laughs> I knew that. Who goes on to? Oh, Tuesday is riser. Monday is who? I don't know. Hey, alert. Enough with the subs. Yes, here I am. You tell me, Silver Smokestack. I can wait. Don't need it tomorrow. Okay. Just send me silver clay and don't worry about the giveaway. You can tone the ones that are more ugly. <laughs> and then you'll buy it? Sure. I like the nicer one. I want to say the one that has the toning is nicer. This one is going to, so you don't want this one because there's so these are the two different ones so there's <coughs> the right to privacy these are both JM bullion and then the freedom the American way I may offer you a price on that Canadian dollar it's not for sale still say 249 I want that clutch tattoo. Yeah, Yeti, you ask away. You ever, everybody subscribe to Yeti. How far away are you? He's getting a, he's getting a clutch guitars tattoo when he hits 200 subscribers. Oh, I want the freedom one. Okay. Okay. Let me put a huma jigget in there. Oh, these freaking receipts. Coin shop. Let the freedom. Thank you. Let me, let me get off here. Sorry, hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm hoping that as soon as, because it's supposed to start raining again tomorrow, so I'm hoping that um, I can start pouring, like, Thursday maybe. All right, silver smokestacks. I'm gonna get in here with everything else. Okay, SJ five hundred SJ Monday Mayhem on Mike GPO is probably what you're thinking of. Yes, thank you, Amanda. Um, all right. No, I'm not selling it. It's in my keep pile. I've always said I've always wanted one. Um, today is my anniversary. I finally was able to give my wife a heart that Silver Baggins made for me. Are, they, are someone getting you? Um, well, I, I'm gonna walk up here because I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a bus up there. Okay, if not, call me. Okay, I will. Okay. Thank you. Um, was that a Joshua Tree copper bar? Not for me. Oh no, this this is the the Tree of Life piece that I that I did. It's a Yin Yang Tree of Life. Happy anniversary. I used to sleep here tonight. She loves it. 13 years and counting. Fantastic. Okay. That's thing. Do you have a silver one? I had one and I remelted it because I didn't like the backing on it, but I can. I can. These are, um, I want to say these are three ounces. Um, this one kind of got a crappy back to it.
3.1 ounces. So three ounces on that. So $25 an ounce and the poured silver. So the silver one would be $75 <coughs> plus shipping. And you get the letter of authenticity with it. The back will look a lot better than that. That's just one I had thrown here. What in a way? So yeah, so so the silver one's only is only um, twenty five. Oh, there's the thing I was looking for. Twenty five dollars an ounce for the poured silver. But and then we'll go over some of the ones like I didn't sell in the auction. I have a bunch of pieces I need to tone and stamp. This is the heart one. So let me know when you have it done. Okay. Yeah, because I want to do the Tree of Life in silver, and I want to tone it and um, see what it looks like. I can PayPal you when ready. Okay, I'll let you know. Let me let me get my book real quick and write it down because I'll forget. Um, be doing a tattoo tomorrow video releases tomorrow oh so you did get to 200 yay hey food dog hey hey patrick can you imagine my logo in a silver round yep yep i'm going to be able to do anybody's logo because i'm saying i'm thinking that i can get the graphite and then my friend can do with the CNC machine, he can carve it out. I was watching a video on it earlier today. So like, Clash wants me to do something for him, and then so does Couch Collectibles. I subbed to four more people in here, just supporting the community, fantastic. You should sell molds. Hey Paula. Um, I don't know if he wants to do get involved with something like that. We'll we'll see how easy it is for him to do them. Um, she wants one too. Lost things, lost things, lost things, lost things. I want one too. You want one? What, the silver, the silver tree of life, or in copper? Or are you just saying that you want one? Oh, you like that, that DDO? Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Dustin Morgan gave me that. I see you missed last things. Okay, Paula, well, nice. Um, YouTube has once again removed my notifications. I'm sorry. You want so much. This community is so amazing. Thank you, SJ. Thank you, Shane Clash. And the rest of the gang, you know who you are. And so much big ups. Whichever is most available. I can, I can pour anything. So... The, the copper tree of life would be $10. The silver one would be 75 I can make whatever one you want. Go for the silver. Yeah. And it could be a little bit lighter than that. This one's poured pretty heavy on the back. And it's copper, so. Hey, exporting with the nug. I need to step away for a second. Um, so if you want to put your request in, and but you need to send me an email as well, though, because some things I won't remember. If you know anything about me, you'll know this to be fact. I don't know where my little stand is. I just had it. So you have to let me know which one I have CRS to. I'm telling you, I can't retain information very well. It's horrible. I go with my advice and get the silver one. Okay.
So lost things, if you send me an email, um, uh, send me an email with your screen name, your true name and, and what you're wanting so that when I can, so that I can, um, I can let you know when it's, when it's done. When I don't think I'll remember something, I'll write it down, but I forget where I wrote it. I'll forget what it, I, I can't make any sense of anything I write down. I don't write stuff down anymore. I'll write it like on my hand and that's it. I had no idea that you were forgetful, huh? You know, it's true. Hey, Alejandra. All these folks that scared me and I'm over here. Oh, my phone. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. But yeah, that's the tree of life. I got the wax. I got the Renaissance wax came in the mail. The same with the Fritz stuff that came in the mail too. But they're pretty neat. Um, I'm actually running my phone battery dry, so all you like, yeah, no worries. I'm not gonna be able to pour for a few days because today would have been an okay day to pour, but I, did, I only had 11 ounces, so 15 ounces. So I wanted to go get some more silver, and then um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I've lost so many things in safe places. I'm gonna go lay down for a while. Have a great, all right, Scully. Thank you, thank you for your advice. And now I have more for my hoard. <laughs> Love your face. I'll be right back. Um, email again. It's right here. It's right here. SG's Mixed Adventures at gmail.com. It's right there on the screen. Bye, Scully. Under the sea, I'm all about the Photoshop when it comes to thumbnails. Sometimes I use these. What are you guys talking about? Yeah, it's supposed to rain, so I don't get excited about when it rains. But I have stuff to do around here, so rain is gonna mess up my weekend. I don't, am I, I'm checking your channel, exploring with Nug, I don't, see if I'm subscribed to you, I am not, but I am now, 600 subscribers, cleaning up the river one bridge at a time, fantastic, you just earned yourself a bell click.
What's going on, everybody? My name is Jeremy. This is Exploring with the Nug, and I am back at it again, diving the river to see what I can find. Today, it is a crisp, sunny 40 degrees. I am cold. This is actually going to be a real test to see if I can make it through the winter, which I know I can, but we'll see how much of a, a baby I'm going to be about it. Not yet. Uh, the wind is blowing. It's crisp, like I said. So, I had to go pick her up I mean, an interesting day. Earlier. I might do a lot of complaining. I might, I might not. To I'll try not to. If the bus is not running. I'm actually back out here at the Etowah River in Cartersville, Georgia. Yeah. Um, I'm switching it up from the hooch. This water is crystal clear, out. easy <laughs> visibility. I can and show I'm it. at a new bridge I've never been before. Now. So there's a very good chance I'll be able to find some cool stuff. I really have no idea. This is a new spot for me and you. So we might just really enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to go suit up. I got all my gear with me. I got me my, my super thick wetsuit. Look at that, fantastic. Flood so Lake, float tube magnet fishing. Looks like a fun channel. Around four guns diving. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure you're getting all kinds of subs right this second. Fantastic thumbnails. Let's check out your channel edits, shall we? Let's. You're at 603 subscribers. You gained three, except when I first looked, you were only at 600. You got a tip jar on Facebook. You got channel tags. 22,000 views. 71, only 71 videos. You just got another one. Sub them up, you guys. Let's see that number go up. Come on. I'm waiting for that number to move. Let's get one more on there. I'm sure it's getting there. Mm -hmm, yeah, Yeti Mountain was at my stream last night. Fantastic. Looks like a good channel. I'll show you what channel is it. So it's right here, Exploring with the Nug. Use with the little red icon right there. Look at what I sent you. Okay. It was a lot of fun, bro. See, now it's not letting me click the bell. Okay, let me see. Let me pull it back up again, real quick. Um. Hold on one second. Let me go back to your channel. Okay, now it's gonna let me. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I had to finagle some things to get in there. Oh, I don't wanna see that. I wanna see that. Sorry. Okay, I'm already subbed to him. Rick. Smash that bell, like button, everybody. I don't even see what Pola sent me. I did my first live stream. What is that? Is that your intro? Very nice. That's step one. That's step one. That's step one. Fantastic. Gave some nervous live stream and I had to take a shot of whiskey to loosen up. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> I like that, Paula. That's nice. That's nice. 
Yes, Trey's north of Atlanta. Well, that's where he's in. He's in Georgia. Trey's in Georgia. You sure dig, dig the water stuff. I have really bad ears, so I can't go underwater, but I can live through your eyes. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's how a lot of these channels are. Kudos to you. Thanks for coming to my stream. You need to come more often. I usually stream every day. There's some pretty cool people here. And then you have Trey. I'm just kidding, Trey. Alright, so... Hey, Damon. Hey, so did you only melt 999? Have some scraps I was going to send you, but 925. I was thinking about doing the 925. I just have to use a different crucible is what I've been told. I want to melt everything, Damon. So I ended up keeping two, four, two, two four, six, eight. I ended up keeping eight rounds out of 38. That's not too bad. Yeah, Damon, I, I, I really want to do... Well, because I was talking to Scully. Well, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a whip and dish. I'll probably order it tonight. I want to get a whip and dish. They were telling me that that's the way that I can't put the flex in my furnace. I finished polishing the the twin brass bars. They look like gold. Ooh, very cool. Um, because EVG said he's gonna send me bullet shells to melt. So. I'm be doing that. Smelting is addictive. It's f it's the fact. If it wasn't if it wasn't for the rain, I'd probably be out there all the time. So yeah, so I'll be using. So once I get the whip and dish, then I can do practice doing that, and then um, I got the flux and everything already. And make our own ammo. Yeah. I mean, I have a bunch. Of, I have I have some out there that me and Amanda picked up when we went up to the mountains. What, Amanda? Did I miss something? The beach that is in Paula's intro is San Felipe. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Perfect. Yay, even better. I'm down in Cleveland. Um, smelting is addictive. Yes, indeed. Hi, Brian. Sorry I'm ignoring you. There's a lot of cool people here in Georgia. No knowledge question. Do you melt? I haven't yet. I have not melted brass yet. Has a lot of slag and you have to pull it out to keep it flowing. A lot of slag, so you have to pull out. Now, so answer me this, Corey, or whoever does whip and dish. So, can you use different metals in the same crucible? I'll be streaming live, hopefully around the middle of March. We'll have coin artifacts giveaway along with some ginseng root, fall time, and more. Oh, fantastic, Yeti. My dad was showing me some coins and guns yesterday. He had this cool 410 gauge shotgun that breaks in the middle. Oh, cool. If you melt 925, sometimes the silver has a lot of nickel in it. So if you can, you can have it checked. Okay. Do you melt bronze? I haven't yet. I think maybe I should be a little longer. Maybe a little slideshow or some of my coins. Yeah, like if you can get, like, throw some pictures up there. Usually they say, like, 15 seconds. It should be, like, 15 seconds. Any gold melting going on? Not yet, but I do have scrap gold, and I do have a tiny little crucible that I can use to do it. I don't have any problem melting gold when I have it. I like a single shot, really cool. A little root get away, Yeti morals sell so like crazy when I lived in Memo. I don't like guns, Alejandra. Bronze is hard to smelt. Mm. Just send some pictures and I can send them if you want, Paula, or you can try doing it yourself.
So EBG's not here. Did he come in? He's. I think he's driving right now, isn't he, Damon? I haven't heard from him in a couple days. You like to eat meat? <laughs> Me too. I actually have steaks I'm going to burn tonight. For copper, then I'm about to try it. I do silver till it gets old, then I use them for copper. When I'm about to trash it, I do brass because it ruins the bowl. Gotcha. So, so you don't want to put it in the same one. Meat is amazing. It's true. Your buddy has a forge. So women's are a necessity for me. Oh, gotcha. I understand. Okay, so let's count again. One, two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen ounces. <sighs> hey, dude. Americans need guns. Rolling in silver. He said to keep separate crucibles for all metals. Thank you. <coughs> that makes sense. Without guns, government. And why, Trey? I say you really shouldn't use the same crucibles. Use separate ones for each metal. But no, um, so, so sterling silver, silver, 925 silver, so that would be all different crucibles, is that what you're saying? I couldn't have one for like sterling and 925. I need to do, I need to know this. Yes. Hi, Rick. Silver, copper, AU. That's kind of why I want to stick to just like 999. But I have a bunch of 925 silver in there. I don't have that much sterling. I don't think I have any sterling. But I know the 925 has nickel in it. All separate. I say yes, separate each of the metal. Hmm. I only use one for pure silver. Well, yeah, I wouldn't mix anything with the pure silver. Huh. I do need to sell stuff, though. So, what I was kind of going to say... I did not get oh, obviously get my stamp today. I got things to do. I got things to do. No, oh, she's doing clinking. All the beautiful making is all worked up. I know. I can want me to ding it for you. Let me get our bigger pieces. get cheap crucibles is a restaurant wholesale for cast iron we use fire though oh the sound is silver oh gotta go I'll see you later okay Damon yeah, because I think EVG's on his way home right now. Because we're going to hook up. And get some stuff done. We'll do some stuff. But I need, I need to clean it up. So what I was trying to say is that I'm going to take a little break from being engulfed with this. I'm going to get these pieces out. And once, once I get my area cleaned up... <laughs> right? Ear porn. 
Bye, Damon. Thanks for stopping by, honey. I'll see you later. Once I get all my stuff cleaned up, put my coins away for a while, get them all stored away, then, then I, then I can um, concentrate on what I want to do. Right now, it's just like there's just stuff everywhere. I mean, look, it's just my table's full. Everything's full. Oh, there's my thing I was looking for. It's right in front of my freaking face. It's a sandwich tray. <laughs> yep. Hi, Ed. <laughs> I love corn. That's corn. You see my comment about Melty 95? I did not. Oh, it has nickel in it? Oh, put borax in the bottom of the crucible and fire it, then add the silver to the crucible and keep heat on it. And is that going to bring all the nickel to the top? And then you... Right? Before I do it, I'm not going to do it free, free nilly willy. I'll get with you, Rick. Yeah, then you use the graphite rod to get the junk out. I love corn, too. Soft corn, not hard corn. How much are silver hearts? The silver hearts are, they're going to be, they're going to be like 30 bucks. Research. Oh, I definitely will do research. Hey, Lee Cows. How to show support. I'm at work on my 10. What time are you getting off, Lake House? So if you're on your 10 minute, so you've been there for two hours. Right? Soft corn, really dang. <laughs> yeah, I like soft corn. Yeah, but the main reason is so it doesn't stick to the crucible and the slag will be on top. 1030, 830. Um, 4 for 16. Oh, 830 at night. 1030 in the morning, you went to work and you worked till 830 tonight? Do you work in a 10 hour shift? Okay. So the slag goes on the top. You're bringing sexy back? Absolutely. I watched your little hammer video. If you haven't watched Mr. Doughboy, he made a little miniature hammer out of some half dollars. That's pretty cool. Overnight suck. I'm done with overnights because it's good. You did your time. I'm guessing the bus came. Hold on, let me check. Let me make sure. I don't want her st out there, stuck out there. Oh, not Bud. Bus. Did you see the working monkey wrench? No. I didn't see it. Hi, Lake House. Getting cold. Protect those hands. Well, he has to work with his hands, so. Did I lose Z squared? I'm sorry, Z squared, if you're watching him. I'm not trying to ignore you. The gloves are for kids. <laughs> Her friend picked her up. Okay, good. I know. I love nerds. I found it in the bottom of my purse. Lemonade wild cherry. No artificial flavors. All natural. It's good for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I worked at Ready Ice my first year. My hands were trashed. Oh, I bet. That ice will freaking cut you like a knife. I see, I gotta go and save my battery so I'll be able to catch the streams later. Okay, sounds good. The caregiver let me know she got a ride. Well, we're just listening to the stream while I'm being paid. Well, <laughs> right. Ed, are you gonna get one of these? 
I'm going to tone it, see what it looks like toned. These ones I'm going to tone, these two. Not this one. Oh, I might try. I might try toning them all, see what they look like. But once I tone them, they would be $25. But I like these ones. I think they'll look pretty toned. I'll clean them up. I'm going to do that tonight. All right. Where the Dark Eagle one I saw is in a flip. It's one of the ones I'm keeping. Got it's nice and raised. is a dark coin. I'm going to dip it. I'm just kidding. I'm not. It looks good antique. Yeah, it looks older. Antique. Here's the story of little bunny foo foo pom 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 doo doo. I'm going to tone this. There's nothing you can do. Pom pom pom. Boom boom boom. Pom pom pom. Ding ding ding. The good fairy came along. Yep. I got ten of those. Little bunny foo. Now I'm just stuck in my head. Good luck. And then I got five of those. I'm not melting those. So. Waiting class just shipment. She said little bunny foo foo if you don't stop boffing all the field mice on the head I'll have to turn you into a goon is that what how the song goes no you got two like real Morgans I'm not buying any more coins for a while that's what brings better joy than for me hearing silver coins scratch together <laughs> hey I'll scratch them that one <laughs> was back the next day little bunny foo foo was back at it hopping through the forest catching all the field mice and bopping them on the head <laughs> the first roll I will when the first rolls around girl Some coin porn. Making the purchases. I'm not in any hurry. If there's ever, any time there's something that you see that I have that you want to rescue. Okay, goon tomorrow. Heart hair today, goon tomorrow. Yep. And you want to rescue it? You want me to put your name on it? Still, it's turning me up. Um, I can put it away for you, but when it's time for me and I'm running out of silver and I'm like, I really don't care about that, I will contact you and say, you buy it now or it's melting. We'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to go climb through the window real quick. All right, you do that. I need to go get a drink. Did I miss anybody's comment? That I needed, that needed responding to. I'm sorry, I was busy. I was mesmerized by clanking silver together. I want to rescue some ten ounce bars out of the safe. <laughs> How many ten ounce bars do I have? Eight. I have, I have one that's for sale. That I have to rewatch the video. I uh, can't remember who it was that told me to buy it for him, and they never paid for it. I want to say it was Andrew. And I haven't seen Andrew around. 1890 and 19010. Fantastic. I got eye booger. If you don't pay us, she will turn you into a goon. It's true. Uh, 
Yeah, so if you don't see me around the block very much, just know that I may be watching. I just have lots of stuff to do. Um, I like when no one's home. You don't have to wear pants. <laughs> This is the stuff I got. I got my flits. I got the industrial size flits. And this is what I'm putting on. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this. I'm only kidding, maybe. So I need to wax these pieces. This is the stuff I got to put on these copper rounds. So that came in the mail yesterday. <coughs> the older I get, the more juvenile I behave, right? Okay, so I went a little crazy at Disneyland. I'm not, don't ask for any of these today because I'm, I'm not putting these together. I just want to look at them. Oh, are they two sided? I don't know. I didn't notice they were two sided. I use Wheaties, 1950s Wheaties. Are they upside down? Yes. Why would you do that? Because they were just 1950s Wheaties. They'd already been searched through. I want one. What did I just say, Cooper? I still have pennies and quarters in here to do. I want one. I'm out of here getting ready to go live. Okay, Shaw. Hey, Eminem. That's why. Probably a dumb, but what benefit does waxing them do? It stops them from, from toning different colors. It's It just it slows down the... Because you know, like, you know, obviously this used to be shiny at one point, but it stops the oxidating. Because, like, this one... This one, the red came from the chemicals that were in the water and it touched each other. And I wanted to preserve that color. I didn't want it to change anymore. Uh-oh, I won something. That's why I said that. I know, because you're a brat. What is that? They all say Buena Vista on them. Yeah, I like the red. Nope, there's no stupid questions. There was only, like, I want to say there's only, like, three machines that I found. I use the MS Plus. It gives new life to old coins. This one's a cool one. Maters. I got squish pennies from the World Trade Center. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I collect them, so. I have some really cool ones. I like that. What the heck is that? I'm looking at the big screen. Hey, Hector. I was there the day before. Oh, it's cold outside. I know it's starting to get cold here. Oswald. Oswald. What's that say? Roland Roadster. Dinner. Okay, I'm going to get off here shortly. I like this one, the Mater one. And there's Mickey. Oh, 
I like the Disneyland's way better than these ones. Why did I not get that many Disney ones? There's two. Three. I only got three of them. I think these are going to be the rare ones. I only got three of the Mickey Mouse ones. See, I still had plenty to do more, but man, I felt like I was sitting there. And I mean, luckily, this those ones I didn't have to crank. You just kind of did it all for themselves. I might have more in my purse. But that's a pretty fair amount of them. What do you think? Good night, Jamie. Hey everyone, thanks for having me. You gotta go. Hope everyone has a good night. Thanks, Lost Things. Make sure you send me an email about that, okay? I stay in contact. It'll be it'll be like next week when I pour. Um, so I got two of those to pour. I haven't got my stamp yet to stamp them and stuff. So I'm gonna get that together this week. Good night. I'll be right back. Okay, what? Okay, what? GT finishing up the Lexus. Gotta go. Gotta go by. I'll be right back. Okay, what? I forgot Yeti wanted to see my new mold. Somebody asked me for if I had a new mold. It's right here. I'm starving. I want hot wings. Me too. I have steaks. I'm going to put steaks on tonight. It is cold outside. Okay, I need to put these in a bag. It's cold. My legs are cold right here because the door's open. Everybody leave me. So those are right there. That is right there. That is goes back in my jar. So that is my new mold. I'm just gonna turn my hands back. Or I would eat anything that is spicy. I just want something that will set me on fire. Right? So I'm excited to do that in copper. I don't know about silver. That looks like it's going to be probably four or five ounces. And it's kind of plain. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of that mold? I think it look neat in copper. And then what I was watching, this guy that had a CNC machine, he was taking he was taking the molds like this, and then turning them over, and then putting something on the backside too. You would like to see it in silver? I'll do it in silver. I'll do it in both and see what it looks like. But 
So yeah, so I could take my other molds and like send them to um, EVG and then he can punch out the backside. So, Cause these things are, blank ones are expensive. They're just as expensive as if you were to buy something in them. So that's the new mold. I've been looking and I haven't seen anything else that strikes my fancy. I mean, I've got like 10 molds right now and I think that's good for right now. Purr, I'm cold. But now I need more silver. I mean, eight ounces, two, four, six, eight ounces, that's not that much. I was thinking about taking one of my 10 ounce bars and cutting it up. My, like, my generic bars. Let me show you. And that's what I forgot to get today. I forgot to get one of those 10 -a lock things. How much are molds? It depends on the mold. I paid anywhere from 25 to $45 a piece for the molds. I spent 20 on a blank 4x4 block of graphite. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Bleach gets rid of mold. Half price boneless wings at Sonic. How are their wings? Are they good? I still got some of that Buffalo Wild Wing sauce in the fridge. I can't get in there. Oh my god. I had a bucket full of nickels I gotta roll. That's after shipping. Wow. That's crazy. Feeling? What are you talking to Mike? So, like, like, like these bars. I wouldn't. I wouldn't care if I cut these up. Just burnt a little still. My friend does crazy skull belt buckles. I made 30 a couple molds. Oh, really? Hey, John Francis. So, like, I have that one, and I have this one that I wouldn't care to cut up. I wouldn't cut this 10 ounce bar up. That's a pretty one. That one's I'm keeping. That one. That one I'm keeping. The rarities. The 10 ouncer. That one I keep. And then I got a, I got a couple of these. A little chunky Inglehards. is each. Um, Inglehards have a premium. Don't chop them up. Nope. Yep, yeah, that's a pretty good chunk of silver. These are both like the same mold. This one's old. This one's an old one. You can look it up. This one has a pretty good premium. 
on it. And then the Constitution, silver. But these ones are just generic 10 ounces. These ones are nothing. And my five ounce star. <laughs> so SJ, a colonel made that for me. And then Bradley, Bradley made me this, it's the Sterling. Hey Hector. And then I have a, a five ounce. I don't remember why I bought that. Because I think it looks vintage. I know, I got a little bit of silver. But yeah, Andrew wanted me to buy him one of these. He was going to buy it. I haven't seen them in a while. So I got two of the Engelhards. Those aren't, those won't get burnt up. Five ounce can go for sure. You want one, you want one of the, what, the Engelhards? Yeah, if I can't get a hold of Andrew, I'll sell you one. I got so much silver flatware in the house. Grandma's stash. Yeah, so this one's really cool. Me too. Cooking dinner, doing dishes, watching SJ. Yep, the Engelhard. All right, send me send me an email if you want that. I'll make you a deal on it. So these, but I need I need these are this one's a chunky sucker. I'm gonna have to get some like heavy duty bolt cutters to cut that. Could I stick that in the crucible like that? It would fit. No, I didn't pour that. I actually got that from my coin guy. And we tried, a whole bunch of us tried looking for the artist online. We couldn't find it. It used to be a pendant. I have to buy my safe first. I was putting it off. I ended up spending a grand on this. I got mine off of offer up for it. What did I pay Amanda? 10 bucks, I think? Next to nothing. But this is just, you can tell that someone just did a clay mold. Let me look at it up close. Did a clay mold and pressed it in some clay. Yep, 10 bucks. Look on offer up. They've shot out of the bar and your torch melt into a bucket of water. Good idea. Yeah, in the Del Clay. I'm not talking to Clay. Not you, Clay. Uh -huh, I got my star. And I got my chunkies. And then I got my mermaid. These are just my big pieces. In there. So are you selling any silver dollars below spot? No. I don't even get stuff for below spot. I'm talking about like 40 percenters and stuff. Yeah, this, the guy the guy I got the safe from works for like a security camera system or company, and he would get he gets safes all the time. I sent you, Mr. Doughboy, I sent you your star, right? And I got these cool pieces. I almost left these out of the safe. You know what worked really good for creating small fingers for casting. So 
make a mold of that and pour that. Oh man, I can. I could press that right into clay, absolutely. Good idea. Except for the Sagittarius would be backwards. That would be the only thing. We all need to buy from Trey's dealer. He sells below spot. I know, right? <laughs> it's true. Uh, I clean out houses and find coins and bills and furniture, closets, desks, and doors. That would be neat. Like you have like a demolition company. You work for a demolition company. Isn't that neat? I know Draco wants this, huh, Draco? I bought it and then decided I wanted to keep it. You're dragon. I see it's still safe and sound right there. It's still safe and sound. I get silver from garage sales. Around here, man, you have to get up really early in the morning to get to get any coins or anything at yard sales around here. And this is the Angels and Demons series. But I still want my art. I know it's right there. <laughs> he wants it really bad. Oh, it's not. It's still not taking it out of plastic. Those are really cool. Early bird gets the worm, I know. I'm thinking about maybe going to the swap meet like on Saturday or something. Email sent with picture of the polished bar. It's fantastic. I'm going to look right now. I'm going to put this stuff back in my face. And then my new pieces. I'm going to show off my new pieces real quick. Hey, Corey. So here's my new pieces. And Scully poured these for me. Why well, I bought them. The Bigfoot. Two ounces. Work with a friend of mine who owns apartments and rental homes. Hey, Silvered Sapphire. Yeah, I'm going to show Corey's in a second here. But see, I want to get that toning. Like, I can't get that toning on my pieces. And then I just got the silver foot. So this is my newest edition right now. A bird keeps wanting to come in the house. Uh, and of course, I get all the. Oh, there's just authenticity. If you see, good old Scully. And we get a sticker. Scully sticker. Okay, now I'm gonna look at Corey's pieces. Let's see, scroll my safe. Scroll my safe. And then Corey. Uh, thank you, Coin and Card, all these and goodies. If you see, you're next on my hit list. I'm going to one of your pours. What's up, VC? I miss Bradley. Can you believe it? I miss Bradley when he was here.
Uploading. Sitting at Sonic car so loud I can't hear SJ. You showed me those pictures already. Are those 10 ounce pieces? Those are the same ones. Oh, you got them all polished up now. Can't wait to get some of SJ in the mail. I know. I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping my stamp comes tomorrow. He said the 19th. Okay, I would pick up ten of the whole bar. Just let me know how much. I'll send the money. Remember, I use my wife's PayPal bill and it won't work. Yes, I did. I read it. What does Nova say? Okay, right now I'm waiting on the invoice. Okay, I'm T-shirt being made. Da da da. Thank you, Novus. Scully. So this is my next piece that's coming. This is a piece that's on its way. And he toned it for me really nice. Oh wait, so it'll be worth it. Who did I get my stamp from? Um, I have to look again. The same place that um, the 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 same place that did yours, VC, the same guy. How long did it take you to get yours? Cause it's been like three weeks since I ordered it. Zach? No. He's on my other email. About three weeks. Yeah, Steel Stamps Inc. Right. And he said schedule schedule ship date is the nineteenth, but pretty sure we will ship by early next week. So maybe I'll get it tomorrow. The original email correspondence. January 29th. So it's been almost a month. Did he send you a shipping notification? No. I haven't got a shipping notification. So that means a no. Because he would have sent that to me. Great. Yeah, the only thing he sent me was the invoice. Uh, that's a bummer. Dang it. I'm gonna run SJ. See you later. Nice chat. Got some nice stuff there. Thank you very much. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna head out of here too, so I'm gonna go feed my mom and burn some steaks. Hey, Linio. Oh. Well, so much for getting it early. Can't wait to get some of SJ in the mail. I know. I can't wait to mail this stuff. Everything's right here. Everything's right here. We're patiently waiting for everybody's stamp. It's all right there in the heart box. All right, BC. Sounds good. All right, guys. I'll see you guys maybe later on tonight. Um... Otherwise, I'll see you on Mike GPO tonight. Um, he's on tonight. I don't know who, who's going to be on there. But I'm going to wax up some of these pieces and stamp some weight on some of these copper rounds. Blada, yada, yada. All right. I'll see you guys around the watering hole. Thanks for coming along. Let me know when you get your stamp. I want to order. Okay. 
All right, Shay, were you just lurking? You better come back on tonight or I'm starting a riot. <laughs> okay. All right, love you guys. See you guys later. Have a great, great night. Go eat dinner. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, John Francis. Bye, Amanda. Okay, what, everybody? Ciao, Bella. Thanks for coming along, guys.